Previously on Rescuing Yara. Did you call AAA? They're on the boat saying goodbye to it for the last time. Final inspection of the boat. Uh, all the hatches are shut tight. We're gonna shut up the cabin here and then uh, we're gonna get off the boat. All right, we got them back. <laughs> like they're happy. And there goes the boat. Well, since, since you have been shipwrecked, you are all now pirates. And you cannot be a pirate without a shot of rum. So here's to our first day together. Cheers. Welcome Cheers. to Break of Dawn, SV Zingaro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, Captain. Cheers. Okay, we're back on crack, we're making 090 right for Panama. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And we are plus three, so eight on board. Uh, we're trying to catch some fish. We got plenty of food, we got some coconuts, we got coffee, uh, coffee. we got everything we need. Say cheese. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. This is the first time we've had eight crew. This is awesome. Everybody fits too. It's, it's awesome. It's so, so cute. We have a big family. <laughs> He's in good spirits, folks. He got a little hurt. Look at this. It looks way better, though. Look, Tom is a combat medic, and he put little dots around. That's a great idea, man. And so it's you can see today that there's nothing around the dots. Now the infection is way more inside. It's a little swollen. But oh, man, that looks way better. What do you think? We'll watch it today. We have antibiotics later if we need them. What is the, what is the chances he's going to make it? He might survive. Give me a percentage. No, <laughs> no. Oh my God. Should we take Should we take votes? Thirty <laughs> percent. Oh, you're you're not doing good. This is your own crew, man. <laughs> no, he's going to be dancing in Panama. Yeah. Uh, he has to be ready for the salsa. salsa. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know how many days these guys have been here. Maybe four? Is this day four with you guys? Four or five days. Um, Olivier's looking better. Yeah. But his leg is looking pretty nasty. I mean, it's, it's got a. It's definitely exploded. It's, it's still a little swollen, but it's getting better. That's nasty. That nasty. What I think is, it's a boil and it's and all the pus is coming out because it looks just like what I had on. Well, it's, I'll show you. I had one here, right here. That scar is from a boil. And this scar is from a boil. And then I had one, I think, here. Yep, right there is this is another one. So, an experienced boil man. Do you want a piece of his leg? <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> we, we have a Appreciate piece of that. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm, a piece of his leg. Tastes like pus. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. This is very French breakfast. <laughs> so I cooked them uh, potatoes for breakfast, potatoes and eggs, and they're like, yeah, we don't really eat that in France. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. And now they, they got me their French version of breakfast. Somebody want to get him a wooden knife to bite like they did in the old days? Believe it or not, overall, it looks better because the redness is shrinking. This will need to keep clean. But a lot of this is just scar, it's not all pus. We started off just removing this, the, uh, the serous tissue and then there was very little actual pus. And then we cleaned it with uh, hexachlorophene and ground out to make sure that we did get any pus that was possibly there. Um, then we cleaned it with betadine and covered it, and now we're gonna put the final dressing on. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. And no pain? No, not more pain. Less, less. Uh, it's good. All right. Yes. And what's your favorite sailboat in the world? Mine. Your favorite sailboat in the world? 
have uh, and and this the, one. Right? This one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Wow. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Gaina and Marion agreed to answer some questions from you guys because we've had a lot of people ask, you know, how did they feel? What was it like? What happened with the boat? And they're a little shy, so they don't want to be on camera, but they're going to answer all our questions, okay? How long were you sailing before it, the, this mast? Since March. Since March. April, May, June, March. July, August, September, October. So seven months. Yeah. Oh, so you knew that boat really well. Yeah. Um, okay, so tell me about the night of the accident. What, what happened? What, what, did, what were you doing? Did you freak out? Did you know what happened right away? He went to bed. I was brushing my teeth before waking Olivier for his watch and we heard a big, big, big noise, you know, like crack. And we all together jumped out of the, the saloon, the cockpit, the, to the cockpit. And we all, we thought, Gena and I, we thought immediately that it was the, the mass. I don't know why, but... It was I such had... a big noise, such a big noise. And uh, we had the Bimini off, and had ha had a look on the on the on the roof, and no mast. That was crazy. And we saw the mast hanging down into the water with the sails, with the main that was out, and also in the front of the boat, the the Genoa and the um, trinquette. It's the it's the smallest uh, wing, uh, sail. They were both hanging in, down in the water. And the boom? The boom was in like... The, in a, the cockpit? Yeah, in the yeah. cockpit. The bimini. Oh, it was hanging on the... Oh, no, so it broke the bimini and it not, pushed not, down on it? Yeah, this, not, this, it didn't, it didn't this, broke it, but... Uh, okay. And okay. it didn't hit nothing at the, at the back of the boat, hope, uh, thankfully. So you were on watch? Yes, it was end of my watch. We were all inside. So it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh. <laughs> that's awful. That's awful. <laughs> what happened then? That's really what I want to know. Like, okay, do you stop and you have a meeting? Do you all freak out and run upstairs? Well, we all jumped out upstairs and we had a look and we said, uh, shit, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we were all, wow, just like stunned, you yeah. know? And Olivier immediately started to um, think about what can we do. And so he asked Gena to, they, they put their, their shoes on and lights and headlights and all of that. He told me um, to take the wheel. And so I was just uh, keeping the wheel straight. And they started to clean the, well, to try to get the, the, the sails out of the water, basically. And, yeah. and the, um, and the masts and we knew that we were going to work all night without a stop. Um, talk to me about exactly what happened to the mast. Did it, did it break on the top? Yeah. It broke yeah. on the top yeah. and then it, it dislodged from the bottom and fell over, yeah? All, all the mast. It did, it's all first over. dislodged yeah. from the, bo from oh, the bottom and, and falling hit. in the water, the, the, the upper part broke. It broke, got it, got yeah. it. And, and the cause of it? We don't know. Not sure. Maybe the top of the mast in first, but maybe... Uh, the, the, chain plate, the chain plate? The chain plate. That broke? Maybe the mast have moved a little from, from before, the, uh, okay. before this. No, no big winds, no waves. No waves. Normal conditions, it was around maybe very, very 15 cool knots. Condition. Oh man, that sucks. So what? how did you feel, other than shock, you, you, you decided let's, let's get all the stuff out of the water. That was the decision? Let's get as much stuff onto the boat as we can? Yeah, and moi je me suis senti centré. He felt very centered, you okay. know, concentrated. Yeah, right. I was bringing tools, you know, to where they were working. I made coffee and... I made like little things to eat. Okay, I was taking of course, care. You had to have coffee. Yeah. I, I was taking care of my of the crew, you know, yeah, because I was not good in, yeah. in fixing yeah, that's things. That's very important. Yeah. Do you guys remember the point when Olivier got injured? 
not precisely. It was during the night, during the first night where they went, they went to the to the roof and tried to fix everything. Uh, and, and when did he realize that he was injured? He didn't. He didn't. he didn't. he didn't. No, he said that he got scratched sometime working, and it was just a scratch, and he didn't even know he was hurt. Mm -hmm. It just got infected over time because it wasn't sleeping right. Mm -hmm. so okay, we're inside the boat. This is so violently moving in here. It's hard to stay up. Like I'm, I've got my feet really spread out, and I've got 20 years of it on boats. This is insane. I can't believe they lived on this thing for six days. It's like they can't sleep. They're trying to work to fake the mast. The captain gets hit. I can't imagine it. Ugh, it sucks to say goodbye to it, but we got to go. How were the sleeping conditions over the six days you guys were? Did you sleep at all? Like a chick girl. Yeah. All the day and all the night. So yeah. Just rolling, rocking from Did one you side get to the other. Sleep at all? Yes. yes, a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. We were so tired, yeah. so yeah. we and just slept. Um, were you, was there ever a time where you guys were scared for your lives? No, no. At no, at any moment, I, I was not afraid because very we know, we knew we were alive and we were okay with food, with water. Um, just the mass was wasn't there, but we we had the hyper that we could activate if we wanted. So we were very yeah, calm, very pause. quiet. Not not at the beginning. But, no, pas au début, assez rapidement. No moment of fear. And, no. and then tell me about the decision to call for help. Um, well, the I think it's the the owner that we had first on on the phone. We told him about what what was happening. And he he said, I call the cross, and he made the link with the cross. So they, then they were aware of the of our situation. And then what, when we got the information, the information that we got was that you guys were looking for fuel. Oh. Is that because were you motoring this entire time? Mm, no, we we tried to to start the engine the second day, I guess, to just to to see okay. how it was, to, to avoid a too long drift. And the engine d didn't uh, start. Oh, no. Yeah, Why? because uh, there was water in the tank. So it took like three hours to the captain to fix the, the engine and then start with the um, the big bottles, you know. Oh yeah, so he was sucking from the jerry cans. Yeah, from and, the jerry cans and then, directly, and then, yeah. And then we, we, we made like, I don't remember, four or five hours of engine okay. just to just to move, you know, because we were tired of staying at the same place and rocking oh, and it was good for our moral. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And, and your decision was, at that time was, we need to get some fuel and we will motor the boat to Mm. To Marquesas. To Marquesas. Yeah, it was the the the, the Marquesas the, was the most the the closer place to go at that time. Yeah. But it was a uh, 1,500 miles, yeah. so it was still very yeah. far away. At, at what point did you realize that motoring was not a feasible option? Well. I think from the beginning, but it was just in case, you know. We, I think that the main option was to uh, have a try something to have a, a new mast. That was the main option, and have fuel in case of, you know, and just getting closer to to land. We had friends in Marquesas that that told us that he, they could come like 500 miles away from Marquesas and. And oh, bring okay. us some fuel. Okay. So it was just but to if help. You could have gotten back to that to yeah. that point. Yeah. That was why we were asking for fuel, but but mainly we wanted to try something and not yeah. activate the, the distress beacon. Yeah. Good call. Mm -hmm. Well done. You guys did a good job. Aujourd'hui, on met le mât à l'eau. Voilà. Fin du mât. Fin du bal. Plouf. Voilà, une bonne chose de faite pour dégager le pont. Il va couler par 4000 de fond. Ce qui ne va pas servir à faire un, un mât de fortune. La décision a été prise ce matin de le balancer par le fond. 
Petit échauffement musclé de début de... Allez, la suite va bien se passer. One last question. Tell me about the, the making the mast. Mm. Because you have many pictures of you guys trying to do it. Was it super, super difficult? What, what happened with this? It wasn't easy because of the boat rocking and also because the, the boom is very heavy. So they tried the first day uh, just uh, putting up the boom with uh, the dynema and so on. And I want it to and at the, at the front of the boat and the second day uh, they tried they put they, they they pulled up the um, spinnaker pole spinnaker pole and then the boom and when the boom was almost at the vertical uh, a, a rocking wave came a bigger one and uh, everything and and everything fall down and we were very, very sad, very disappointed at that point. Yeah. We were like without any hope. And again, I was saying that's the sea that told us stop. Va falloir switcher en anglais là. Hi hi. Wow. When when we got there, Gano was, uh, and when we were getting ready to leave the boat, you know, Gano went out and he spray painted on the boat, and then you guys, you all huddled together. What feelings were going through your mind at that time? It was a very strong moment because uh, we we can we can feel the solidarity between us. And it was time to say goodbye to the boat, so it was like um, we were not sad, but very, you know, like in a church, like being uh, in ourselves and all together, lying, you know, like yeah, I like saw, brothers I saw that. and sisters. Yeah, and it was very emotional. I knew that. Yeah, it was a nice moment, rare. And here we are. And a lovely, lovely storm. 40 miles from land. 40 miles from our destination. This is our welcome party. We're going to have to anchor into this storm, which the rain is starting to get a little heavier, but the lightning is out of control. We're getting bolts every couple minutes. Yeah, this one definitely is coming at us now. This, this one doesn't look half as bad as the one in front of Oh. The, sky. the lightning here is insane. It's really cool. You can, you can, sometimes it'll 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 hit down and then it'll bunch back up and then. Is, is there more lightning like over there? In the sky like a flower. That's cool. I heard it's pretty bad, like certain areas of Florida. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, we're gonna die! We're gonna die in an electrical crash. Well, with the El Nino this year, they're probably <laughs> looking forward to it. Do you have a microphone and a... Oh! Where was that? I don't know. It was so bright, I just... It was like a ball. Wow. This is uh, the worst storm that we've been through. Uh -huh. and, oh. and it's... We're, for, we're like 30 miles from where we're going to anchor. After 4,800 miles, and there's lightning all around us. The, the closest it's hit is three miles. Oh. It's big lightning. We're gonna die, we're gonna get vaporized. What happens if it's gone, if we're gone? Yeah. Nobody knows. <laughs> John's all hunkered down. Those guys are sheltering in place down there. We have landed on land. Well, the dock. And we actually got recognized already by one person. What does this guy want? Garbage. Oh, garbage. Thank you.
And that was the end of our adventure rescuing the crew of SV Yara. We all made it back to Panama safe and healthy. And before we said our goodbyes, our wonderful patrons raised money to send us all to a steak dinner together for the first time on land. Thank you, patrons. What is up, my beautiful people? Here's the family. <laughs> I'm back with my girls and I'm so excited. Getting to help those people in this series was amazing. I'm so glad that we were there to help them out. Uh, they were very cool people. Uh, some of you asked questions about why Olivier decided to blank his face out. I don't know, he never told me, but that's his prerogative, it doesn't really matter. Um, in 20 years of boating, I have been rescued once by the Coast Guard, and it was nice to turn that around and kind of give back and, you know, put some coins in the karma bank there. And all the people that you saw in that video were actually paying guests of our adventure charter company. So they got more than they bargained for, uh, and they all had a blast. Um, I'm very good friends with all of them now. Uh, if you guys would like to come on a voyage with us, we are going through the canal this year, and we're going to hang out in the San Blas Islands. We're going to go back to Cuba, which is huge. We haven't been back to Cuba in about four years. Uh, Cayman yeah. Islands. Oh yeah, you like Cuba? You wanna go to Cuba? <laughs> we're going to Cayman Islands, and we're going to Colombia. Here, give her to me, I'll take her. Hi, little girl. What's up? Hi. Yeah, you're doing better? She loves daddy. So if you guys would like to join us, please go here. That is www.sailingzingara.com. You're such a good mama. And would you like to add anything? No, I'm just so happy to be together again. Yeah. I'm excited for the new adventure with it. A little one. Oh, the new adventure. I totally forgot about that. So <laughs> we are going on a sister ship, another uh, Oyster 485 with Mario and his husband. Uh, you remember Mario from the series. He's the guy that said, did, did someone call, call AAA? AAA? <laughs> and he's super funny and they just bought a boat and they want us to come down and teach them how to sail it and how to handle it and how to maintain it and how to do watch and how to basically how to offshore sail. So that'll be a really cool series. They gave us permission to bring the little girl and they give us permission to film. So they're, they're super excited, we're super excited, and we're flying out tomorrow to see them. So get ready for that series, it'll be fun. And then we'll get back to our adventure series where we went to Galapagos and Easter Island again, and all the way up to Marquesas and then came back. Okay, I know it's kind of confusing, but we did a big circle in the Pacific, and now we're going into the Caribbean, and we're inviting you to come along with us. So if you'd like to come and have an adventure, meet the little girl, Come on, let's go. It'll be fun. We're doing Christmas in uh, the canal, and then about February we'll go to Cuba. Go to the website, you can see the whole schedule. Much love. Like in the video. <laughs> <laughs> bye, fun. say bye. Bye, bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Yeah.